Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. On the demand of Najneen from Kurdistan, North Iraq, this problem is related to Kochi Raman equation. This problem is verify that the real and imaginary parts of the following function satisfy the Kochi Raman equations. Function is fz is equal to z into e to the power z. First of all, we separate real and imaginary part in this function z into e to the power z. We know that z is equal to x plus i by. So, by putting the value of o, z, we can separate real and imaginary part. Uh, now uh, x plus i y into e to the power x into e to the power i y. We write e to the power x here and um, there is uh, two brackets uh, first x plus i y which is a complex number and also we apply here Euler formula namely e to the power i z is equal to cos z plus i sin z i will apply this formula in here so second bracket of is a complex number cos y plus i sin y now i multiply now we multiply uh, these two brackets so that we can get uh, real and imaginary part separately so uh, multiply x in uh, two terms uh, x uh, cos y plus i into x sin y now i uh, we multiply i y in uh, these two terms we get uh, i y into cos y plus i into i i square y into sin y we know that uh, i square is equal to minus 1 so this term minus y sin y is real so we write uh, uh, here with uh, this real value so real term is in here x cos y minus y sin y uh, therefore two real terms uh, i uh, put it, it in uh, this uh, parenthesis and there are two imaginary term so I uh, take common i from these two term we get x uh, sin y plus uh, y cos y now uh, I multiply e to the power x in these uh, two terms uh, we get um, i x into x cos y minus y sin y uh, by this we separate function complete real and imaginary part so finally we obtain real part and imaginary part also we can write fz as u plus i v when two complex number is equal then their real part equal to real real part and imaginary part is equal to imaginary part so we separate real and imaginary part uh, we get u is equal to e to the power x x cos y minus y sin y and uh, v is equal to e to the power x x sin y plus y cos y now uh, for uh, verification of Cauchy Raman equation we have to find del u over del x del u over del y del v over del x del v over del y uh, and uh, means all uh, derivative of uh, uh, u and v with respect to x and y partially so we first uh, find del uh, u over del x the value of u uh, we collected from 
दिस इक्वेशन ई टू दी पावर एक्स एक्स कॉस वाई माइनस वाई साइन वाई नो हियर वी सी दैट देर आर टू टर्म्स टू फैक्टर्स सॉरी टू फैक्टर्स सो वी अप्लाई टू फंक्शन हेयर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सो फर्स्ट फंक्शन एज इट डिफ्रेंसीशन ऑफ सेकेंड वी डिफ्रेंसीट इट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स पार्सली वी नो दैट फॉर एक्स वाई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी इफ वी डिफ्रेंसीट दिस फंक्शन वी गेट cot y cot cos y as a constant so differentiation of x with respect to x equal to 1 minus for x y sin y is constant therefore differentiation of uh, y sin y with respect to x equal to 0 first function as it differentiation of second plus second function x cos y minus y sin y as it differentiation of x we know that differentiation of e to the power x is equal e to the power x now we take uh, e to the power x as uh, common uh, from bracket so we get cos y plus uh, x cos y minus y sin y um, this is value of del u over del x again uh, we have to find del u over del y to, um, so we differentiate uh, um, u with respect to y partially value of u is equal to e to the power x x cos y minus y sin sin y uh, here uh, e to the power x is constant for y because uh, it is partial uh, differentiation so we take e to the power x uh, from uh, this uh, differentiation only uh, we have to differentiate uh, this function with respect to y x cos y minus y sin y e to the power x uh, we uh, differentiate uh, this term and this term separately uh, if we differentiate this then uh, here we say that x is constant so so we take uh, x uh, out from differentiation and differentiation on differentiate uh, cos y with respect to y we get uh, minus sin y and also here is uh, two function of y y and sin y so we apply formula first function as a differentiation of uh, second plus second function as a differentiation of first um, differentiation of y with respect to y is 1 so we write one here and uh, we get e to the power x minus x uh, sin y minus y cos y uh, minus uh, sin y this is value of del u over del y we uh, now uh, we differentiate uh, v with respect to x Uh, so we the value of uh, v is equal to uh, e to the power x bracket uh, x x sin y plus uh, y cos uh, y cos y um, we apply formula um, differentiation of uh, two function uh, so uh, first apply formula we get uh, first function as it differentiation of second x uh, sin y plus uh, y cos y plus uh, first uh, second function as it x uh, sin y plus y cos y and differentiate um, uh, e to the power x with respect to uh, x e to the power x uh, we differentiate now uh, these uh, two terms uh, term by term uh, if uh, y is a constant since y is constant with respect to x so we take uh, sin y as a constant and differentiation of x with x equal to 1 now uh, uh, this uh, differentiation this uh, term is zero because uh, y is constant for x which because it is a partial differentiation plus uh, x uh, sin y plus y y cos y into difference now differentiation e, e to the power x e, e to the power x now uh, we take e to the power x as outside the bracket we get uh, sin y plus uh, x uh, sin y plus y cos uh, cos y we get del v over d mm, del v over del uh, del x now uh, we find the v over dy 
so differentiate v with respect to y um, value of v is which is written here uh, e to the power x x uh, sin y plus uh, y cos uh, y we know that uh, diff uh, partial differentiation uh, for partial differentiation e to the power x is constant with respect to x so uh, take out e to the power x from here uh, differentiate um, x uh, sin y plus uh, y cos y no. So del v, del v over del y is equal to e to the power x. Now we differentiate these uh, two term, uh, term by term. When we differentiate this, uh, uh, here x is constant for y uh, because uh, it is partial differentiation. So I take x as uh, outside and differentiate uh, sine as a cos y with respect to y. Again, here is two function of uh, uh, y differentiate uh, it by formula apply formula first function as it differentiation of uh, second differentiation of cos is minus sine sine y uh, plus uh, uh, second function as a differentiation of first first function is y so differentiation of y with respect to y is equal to one we write one here uh, now uh, we go to next. Um, open this bracket we get uh, x uh, cos y minus y sin y plus uh, cos uh, cos y and del v over del, del x um, uh, on uh, comparing the value of del u over del x and del v over del, uh, del y uh, we see here that uh, um, del u over del x is equal to del v over del y also, uh, uh, the value of uh, del uh, v over uh, del v over del x is equal to sorry del u over del y is equal to uh, e to the power x uh, minus x uh, sine y minus y y cos y minus uh, minus sine y. If we take uh, uh, minus uh, from uh, this bracket, we get e to the power x. Uh, all sine will be positive. So uh, y sine y plus y cos y plus uh, sine y. But this value is equal to uh, del v over del x. Uh, we can see uh, um, here easily from um, value of del v over del x, uh, which is equal to del u over del y. Um, this is first uh, and this is second um, equation of uh, Cauchy Raman equation. So, this uh, uh, this function fz is equal to z into e to the power z verify Cauchy Raman equation. Thank you very much indeed for listening to me. Wa akhru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.